Well, welcome to monetary policy. I bet you can't wait. Monetary policy is one policy the government uses to achieve its macroeconomic objectives. Um, also, the government can use fiscal policy and, of course, supply side policies. Monetary policy is therefore rather important to understand, to be able to evaluate it, uh, as well as to analyse how monetary policy works. So we're going to cover the basics of monetary policy now. What is monetary policy? Well, basically it can be defined as any action taken by the government, um, usually by the central bank on the government's behalf, to achieve macroeconomic objectives by using monetary instruments or tools such as interest rates, um, but you could also use quantitative easing, which has occurred recently, and of course controls over bank lending. For the majority of the last three or four decades, central banks in the world have used the, basically the bank rate, short-term interest rates, um, to achieve macroeconomic objectives. Uh, it's only recently that quantitative easing has come in in the UK and the USA since 2009. Um, so there we've got a definition. Now, who is the central bank in the UK? Well, it's the Bank of England, of course. And remember, a central bank has completely different functions to an ordinary bank. For example, it's the government's banker. Um, and the central bank in the United States would be the Federal Reserve. Who would the, which institution would be the central bank in France? Well, it would actually be the European Central Bank because, of course, the French use the euro, um, which is run by the European Central Bank. Anyhow, um, the Bank of England, since 1997, uh, since May 97 has operational independence. It's not totally independent because its remit is charged with achieving an inflation target and this has recently been CPI equals 2% and that remit is actually set by the Treasury by the government. Um, so it's operationally independent in that it's up to the bank how to achieve that objective. Before 97, the Chancellor of the Exchequer controlled both fiscal and monetary policy, for example, what the actual bank rate was. Um, so the main remit is CPI inflation must equal 2%, and the Bank of England um, um, must achieve this plus or minus 1%. Otherwise, it, it has to send a letter every month, this doesn't occur, to the Treasury, uh, which is a public letter explaining why the inflation target wasn't achieved. Um, also, the Bank of England um, should also pursue other objectives of the government, such as growth and employment. Uh, now, the, MP, the, the Bank of England consists really of the Monetary Policy Committee, is the key committee, and this sets the bank rate. And it's made up of a small group of economists, um, many of whom are inside the bank, but there are external economists that are appointed as well. And the MPC meets monthly um, to set the bank rate. Okay? Uh, the bank rate is the rate charged to banks such as Barclays or HSBC that need to borrow from the Bank of England to maintain their liquid asset ratio, in other words, the amount of cash that they have. Um, and through that mechanism, it affects other interest rates in the economy. But we'll just come to that. And of course, quantitative easing has been used since 2009 onwards. Um, there are, there are Many economists that work in the Bank of England providing the NPC with lots of information, lots of data. Um, and obviously the governor of the Bank of England is the chair of the NPC. Now there's also the finance, that's the monetary policy committee, there's also the financial policy committee, um, which uh, has been set up more recently. And the, the, this is charged with ensuring financial stability and pre preventing a systemic risk um, to the financial system. And for example, the FPC could establish credit controls. Okay, so we know what monetary policy is. How does it work? 